It's a wonderful day. A wonderful, very special day. In fact, today is so wonderful and special that I'm going to remember it by putting it all in my scrapbook. Let's see. Today is, uh, is, uh, oh, dear, I'm afraid I've forgotten. I, I, I think today was something, uh, besides being today, but um, while I was jumping just now, I seem to have jumped that something right out of my head. Oh, I know what I'll do. I shall go and ask Rabbit. Rabbit always knows about important something's going on. I don't want to go home now. There's so much to do. How wonderful! I found a haycorn. I sometimes wonder if the wind gets tired or, or, or if it just goes somewhere else. Here's a delicious haycorn. I can't reach it. <laughs> oh, hello, Tigger. Can't talk now. I'm spirating some buzzly bees. <laughs> oh, oh, I do like Tigger. Only sometimes I wish he were a bit less bouncy. But then... I guess he wouldn't be very tiggery. Ah. I think it looks much better on that side. Rabbit! Hello! I don't think he can hear me. Hmm, I don't think I should go into Rabbit's garden without his permission. Oh, it's you, Piglet. Come in, come in. <laughs> no time to waste. Uh, Rabbit, do you know, is there anything sort of, uh, well, uh, special about today? Well, of course. Today, I'm making a very large soup for everyone. Oh, <laughs> soup? What kind of soup is it, exactly? It's a very large soup. I'm certain I said that. Mmm, I like very large soups. And everyone in the wood is helping by bringing me ingredients and things. Oh, what about me, Rabbit? May I help? Yes, yes, except this is a rather big job, you know. A very large soup requires many complicated ingredients. Honey, thistles, milk, pepper, of course. Honey, thistles, milk, pepper... Oh, yes, and haycorns. I need ten haycorns. I'll have to find someone to gather those for me. Haycorns? You can find haycorns all over the wood. A poo, of course, is in charge of honey, and I've asked Eeyore to pick out some nice thistles. Kanga will be bringing milk. Oh, and Owl has some excellent imported pepper. <laughs> I wonder where they can all be, though. It's getting rather late, and not one of them has arrived with their ingredients. I could get those things, Rabbit. Or anything. Really? May I bring something, too? Well, I suppose you could help, Piglet. Uh, here, take this basket. Go outside and pick an onion or two from my garden, uh, would you? Oh, thank you, Rabbit. You can count on me. Good. Now run along. I want to have all the ingredients ready before everyone else arrives. Tra la 
la. Oh, it's a very nice day for singing tra la la. See? Oh, are you still here, Piglet? I thought you were going to gather some vegetables from my garden. Oh, are you still here, Piglet? I thought you were going to gather some vegetables from my garden. My onions always make me cry. Not in a sad way. More in a leaky way. Owl once told me potatoes have eyes, but, but I'll keep them in this basket. Then maybe they won't be able to see me. Oh, I like radishes. They're already spiced when you pick them. These carrots look very nice, and Rabbit says they're good for my eyesight. <laughs> Parsnips look like carrots and haven't had enough sunshine. <laughs> oh, they're quite tasty, though. I sometimes wonder if the wind gets tired. You know, Piglet, Owl promised to bring me some pepper for the soup more than an hour ago. I wonder where he could be. I could find him for you, Rabbit. Well, perhaps you could. If you do find Owl, be sure to ask him about the pepper. Here, Rabbit, those are just right. And they should be, since I grew them myself. <laughs> thank you, Piglet. Here, Rabbit. Well, thank you, Piglet. Oh, dear. I don't see how I'm ever going to get all the haycorns I need. I have to stay here in the kitchen to mind the soup pot. I can't be two places at once, you know. I can bring them to you, Rabbit. I'm very good at finding haycorns. Hmm. Well, if you do happen to come across any lying around, be sure to pick them up. I don't want to go home now. There's so much to do. Here's a delicious haycorn. Oh, hello, Tigger. Hey there, Piglet. Uh, Tigger, uh, what do you call that bouncy thing you're doing? I'm spiratin'. <laughs> spiratin' is what Tiggers do the bestest. Tigger, don't buzzly bees make honey? Well, they sure do. <laughs> I can't see it, but I can smell it. <laughs> I could scoop you up some, peg little pal, but I'd get off a sticky hole and all that honey. Huh. Too bad we don't have anything to put it in. <laughs> I don't 
think that would work. Is there a lot of honey in the beehive, Tigger? Oh, you betcha, Piglet. Say, I could get you some if I had something to put it into. A haycorn. Oh, this is wonderful. A haycorn, my favorite. Oh, my, my, my. It's calamitous. Hello, Owl. Oh, what's the matter? Good day, Piglet. You see, my passepartout is quite unlocatable. You're who? I cannot find my key. And so I'm locked out of my house. Oh, well, I'll help you look for it. Oh, would you really? Capital, my dear fellow. I'm certain it's around here somewhere. A haycorn. Oh, this is wonderful. Let me tell you about my great uncle Carruthers. That was his first and last name, I know, who lost the key to the box where he kept his spectacles. Here's your key. Aha! Uh -huh, of course! I put it there for safekeeping, and a very safe spot it turned out to be. Still in working order, I see. Well, won't you come in then, Piglet? Piglet, have I told you the story of my great Aunt Hattie's powder blue umbrella? Oh, what was that? Oh, it was probably just the wind. I hope. <laughs> oh, did you know that Rabbit's making a very large soup and it's for everyone? Yes, I do believe he mentioned that. And he needs some pepper. Have you got any? Oh, yes. Well, I had planned to deliver the pepper personally. However, as you can see, my spices are in considerable disarray. They're where? They're quite mixed up, and I can't very well find the pepper when my spices are all mixed up now, can I? Well, it seems if you could just... Clearly, the spices will need to be organized first. Alphabetically, I should think. Yes, that should work quite nicely. I, I could help you organize them, Owl. I'm very good at organizing. Brilliant idea, Piglet. These spices need to be put in the spice rack in the correct order. Please, pick them up and place them in alphabetical order, Piglet. Aniseed? Aniseed, my dear Piglet, tastes remarkably like licorice. But what most don't know is that it's actually related to the celery plant. Basil? Did you know that the ancient Romans believed that if you put a leaf of basil beneath a pot, it would transform into a scorpion? Well, I'll be sure never to try that. Chives? Piglet, are you aware that chives are a perennial plant? That is, they will grow year after year. Hoo-hoo! And you only need to plant them once. Dillweed? Long ago, Piglet, it was thought that one could use dillweed to help one drift off to sleep. Pepper? Oh, yes, I meant they're all sorted by alphabet. Just how you wanted them, Owl. I say, Piglet, they certainly are. <laughs> well done. And look, here is the pepper, right in its proper position. Piglet, will you do me one other small favor? Yes. I have some important thinking to do. Would you be so kind as to take this pepper to Rabbit for me? Oh, I'd be happy to, Owl. I am most grateful, Piglet. Piglet, 
Have I told you the story of my great aunt Hattie's powder blue umbrella? Corn. Oh, this is wonderful. You know, Piglet, Owl promised to bring me some pepper for the soup more than an hour ago. I wonder where he could be. I could find him for you, Rabbit. Well, perhaps you could. If you do find out, I'll be sure to ask him about the pepper. Here, Rabbit, for the very large soup. Aha! Pepper! Just what I need. Thank you very much, Piglet. Oh, dear. I don't see how I'm ever going to get all the hay corns I need. I have to stay here in the kitchen to mind the soup pot. I can't be two places at once, you know. I can bring them to you, Rabbit. I'm very good at finding hay corns. Hmm. Well, if you do happen to come across any lying around, be sure to pick them up. Looks like I need to cross the pond in order to get to the other side. I think I shall be able to cross this pond if I hop across on the rocks, logs, and lily pads. I can't jump that far. braver than I thought. Kanga, Roo, hello! Well, I I'm sure they won't mind if I take some milk to Rabbit for the very large soup. P perhaps they haven't got to it yet, and, and, and I can help them by getting to it now. Pooh Bear. Oh, um, hello, Piglet. Uh, Pooh Bear, uh, are you making a swimming hole? If so, it looks a little bit, uh, well, um, dry. That's probably because it isn't a swimming hole so much as it is a trap. For woozles. Woo woo woozles? Oh, d -d -d dear, are there woozles about? You never can tell with woozles, but in case there were, and in case they wanted to get into my house to sample my honey, I thought I would dig a trap so they couldn't 
A sample, my honey, that is. D -d 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 Does the trap w -w work? I'm not sure yet. You see, Piglet, once I had finished digging, I found that my house and I were on opposite ends of the trap. And now I can't think how to get one of us to the other side. Oh, I can't go around the trap, and I really don't want to go in it, but maybe I can think of a way to go over it. I'm sure I could get to Pooh's house if I could only figure out how to cross the woozle trap. Here's a delicious haycorn. the screen since I picked up that board. Hello, Eeyore. How are you? As good as can be, considering how I'm all wet. But Eeyore, you don't look at all wet to me. Well, it's all on the inside, of course. Oh. Don't you think it's a nice day for looking at clouds, Eeyore? Only reason I can see to look at a cloud is to tell you how long it'll be before it rains. Oh. Uh, Eeyore, were you supposed to be bringing some thistles to Rabbit? He's making a very large soup, you know, for everyone. Everyone who likes soup, you mean. And I'm not sure if I do. So I don't suppose he meant me. Oh, no. I'm sure he wants you to come. And if you like, I, I could take him the thistles for you. Well, all right, if it's not too much of a bother. Oh, the thistles certainly are pokey, aren't they? Oh, are you painting, Eeyore? Suppose you could call it that if I weren't having trouble with the colors. What sort of trouble? <sighs> One color seems pretty much like another to me. Wouldn't bother using them at all, only everyone else seems to like them. I don't suppose you'd like to help me choose colors. Oh, certainly. I like colors.
How marvelous! Better than I could do. Wonderful! Does have a certain something or other, doesn't it? Could we color the drawings in my scrapbook for a while, Eeyore? I don't suppose there's a reason not to. done well this time. You don't say. You never know when you might need a longish board like this one. A haycorn, my favorite. Pooh, we can walk across this board to get to your house. Why, so we can. That's a very good idea. Let's go and make sure the honey is still snug in the pantry, shall we? think there are any woozles inside, do you? <laughs> oh, bother. I'm afraid that was all there is. And I believe all the other pots are empty as well. But, Pooh, weren't you supposed to be bringing Rabbit a pot of honey for his very large soup? Oh, yes. And here one is, all ready to go. How lucky. Uh, yes, uh, only, uh, don't you think Rabbit would be happier with a pot of honey that had some honey in it? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. When he said he wanted a pot of honey, 
I supposed that the pot was the important part, but I suppose it could have been the honey part as well. Still, I suppose an empty honey pot is better than no honey pot at all. <laughs> oh. Must go and look for a little smackerel of something, but then what if a little smackerel of something came looking for me and I wasn't here to greet it? Oh, bother. Perhaps we can piece one of your broken honey pots back together, Pooh. I'm not sure this is. That piece fits. We did it! Oh, and it's a good thing the pieces are sticky enough to hold it together. Yes, it certainly is. And, um, Piglet, I was just thinking. Yes? Perhaps you could take the pot to Rabbit for me. Perhaps I should stay here just in case. In case any more honey should turn up. You never can tell with honey, you know. All right, Pooh. I'd be very happy to take the pot to Rabbit for you. My favorite. Here you are, Tigger. A honey pot. <laughs> honey pots are perfect for filling up with honey. Here's some honey for you, little piglet. <laughs> Thank you, Tigger. Ah, shucks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Do not make good pin cushions. Uh, pardon me for saying so, Tigger, but isn't spire raiding usually more of a quiet and sneaky sort of thing? Not when you're spire raiding buzzly bees. With buzzly bees, the best thing is to bounce as bouncily and noisily as you can. <laughs> A haycorn, my favorite. How wonderful! I found a haycorn. And they look just perfect. Thank you, Piglet. Your rabbit. Ah, oh, you found some milk. Well, well, very good, Piglet. Now I won't have to wait for Kanga after all. Your rabbit for the very large soup. Honey, oh, well done, Piglet. Perhaps I should have sent you after it in the first place. Here, Rabbit, for the very large soup. Well, thank you, Piglet. Excellent. Now I have enough haycorns for the soup. Oh, thank you, Piglet. Well, I think now we have everything we need to make the very large soup. Well, I must say, Piglet, you've turned out to be quite a big helper today. Good gracious, they're here! Already? Oh, dear. I'll be so busy with my hosting duties, I won't have time to finish the very large soup. Do you think you might be able to do it, Piglet? Oh, yes, Rabbit, I might. I might be able to do it indeed. Mmm, 
This isn't bad. Not bad at all. It's rather nice, don't you think, Pooh Bear? Yes, I was just thinking that. How nice it was. And also, Piglet, how nice it was of you to help me by taking Rabbit my pot of honey. <laughs> Or rather, my pot without the honey. <laughs> oh, yes, and the pepper, additionally. And the thistles. And the other things, too. I wonder if we shouldn't perhaps rename the soup. You know, in honor of Piglet. Oh, would that be a very large Piglet soup? I say, capital idea. Oh, that's oh, so my. very nice. <laughs> oh, my. Thank you all very much. But I wonder if perhaps very large soup isn't better off without any Piglets in it. Ah, that's a very good point, Piglet. Well, I guess it's time to eat. Uh, who would like some very large soup without any piglets in it? <laughs> very nice. Ah. Well then, you don't say. Ahem. <laughs> My tummy is telling me it's almost time for a smackerel of something. Finest, very large soup I've ever tasted, next to my own, of course. Wonderful! This soup piglet reminds me of one which was invented by my third cousin once removed some twenty years ago. Oliver was employed as a hat checker in an establishment that did not allow hats. So, as he had rather a lot of free time, he began to experiment in the kitchen. Owl, we've heard that story a thousand times. Right. Then I'll just have to think of another. Hmm. I like thistles. And the soup's kind of thistly. Must be a coincidence. I think I might need a little more pepper. Or maybe a little less. You know, Piglet, I think this would be a rather good time to recite my soup poem. A soup is a thing that warms the tummy and makes you sing yum yum de yummy <laughs> Excellent. The finest, very large soup I've ever tasted. Next to my own, of course. Exit. Restart. Credits. Exit. Exit. 
Exit. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yes, please.